All right, so let's take a look at it. Let's look at the best momentum, best momentum setups you must have. So if we're going to trade momentum setups, like I said, we'll go in a little bit more detail tonight at the conference call at 4 o'clock. And this works for all markets. This is Bitcoin. I just want to show you it works on crypto also. And I'll show you NASDAQ futures. I'll show you lots of markets tonight. So the best momentum setups with shallow zone retracements. All right, so first thing we got to have is we've got to have a retracement. Well, the first thing you have to have, no matter what, is you got to be on the side of the zone. That is key. If you're not on the side of the zone, you don't have trend correct. So the first criteria that we must have is we have to be on the correct side of the zone, of the, zone, of the color of the zone. So you can see the zones are, are, are green, so we're, we're buying. zone this is your bias okay so we got green zones we're looking to buy retracements that's the first thing so that's number one stay on the side of the zone two when the market starts retracing if you're looking for momentum setups you want to stay above a shallow retracement the shallow zones. You must stay on the side of the shallow retracement on the zone if you're looking for momentum. Because if not, <clears throat> you just turn into an FZR full zone retracement. What that means is that we want to get this up here for you. We want to, on a retracement, when the market starts retracing here, make this arrow big so you can see it, and this is every single day, the same exact setup, over and over again. This is a leading indicator. It's not lagging. It's not after the facts. So I'm going to show you how you can do it, why the market's kicking here today. But we're above this. Here's the shallow zone. There's your zone. As long as the market stays above the shallow zone, they're going to try to mark the market up when it's green, or they're going to try to mark the market down. As long as it stays above the shallow, they're looking to take buy stops out all the way up, all the way down, right? So as the market starts retracing, what you want to do is you want to watch this oscillator. Now, this oscillator will let us know the strength or the weakness of the market. All right, so as we're retracing, we've got to stay above, stay above the shallow zones on the retracement. This is the shallow zone right here. That's my shallow zone. We've got to stay above this zone. We do not want to penetrate into here. We penetrate into here. We're looking for an FCR full zone retracement. If you're strictly trading momentum, you want to be above shallow. You do not want to penetrate this zone, deeper zone, because what happens, it's an FCR full zone retracement, or you get a trend change. So that's number two. Stay above the shallow zone. Three. Watch. double signal line for strength or weakness to pull in. All right, so the signal line as we retrace is going to confirm if our shallow zone is going to hold, possibly hold or not, right? So now what we got to do is as the market is retracing, so 
So as the market's retracing, we get a red Rinko bar. That first red Rinko bar, you're above the shallow retracement. I got two signal lines down here. I got my one, which is here. And then I got my other one, my longer one, which is there. All right, we have these workspaces set up for you. One here, other one here. So as long as my longer signal line stays above 40 and my shorter signal line stays above 40, because 40 is what's called a bull, a bull retracement. We have this set in the algorithm also that you can set in the levels. That's a bull retracement. We need to stay above this level before we get pulled in. You do not want to close. As soon as the line starts closing below the 40 retracement, the momentum setup is over. long as we stay above 40. So as we retrace, red Rinko, red Rinko, watch your signal line here. You can see as we're retracing, it's way above 40. You're good there. As we retrace here, as soon as you see the doji, a doji come in on the Rinko bar. The fourth thing, four, watch for the doji. Look for reversal. Then pulling bar, pulling Rinko, if signal line holds. This is key. Especially for you NASDAQ future traders, you're going to get a lot of trades like this during the day. You're going to get a lot of trades like this, especially if you use a 125.25, which I like to use on the NASDAQ futures, my favorite chart. So, well, let's take a look at this. These are all in order of importance. All right, so watch for Doji, look for reversal, then pull in Rico if signal line holds. So as we retrace, my shallow retracement is holding, which is key. You got to remember these, these retracements are key. They're very accurate. If you look at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trades, these zones hold. If you notice momentum, though, when the market lets go vertical, and it doesn't matter what market it is, any futures, stocks, Forex, whatever it is, the vertical moves have these characteristics, these parameters, where we stay above this shallow retracement. That is key. So the shallow has got to hold. As we come down and come into the shallow or just above it, your longer signal line's got to be above 40. Your shorter signal line's got to be above 40. If you see that, and the doji comes up, the doji's right there, get ready for an entry. Your audible alert should fire right there, which it did. This is Bitcoin. It fired, an arrow fired, and an audible alert in your speakers came in. That is a valid setup. If you go to the next one, the price rallies, takes off. The first red candle is a retracement. Red, I'm sorry, red rink, I keep saying candle. As the red candle comes in and closes, watch your signal line. This is the best trade you're going to get in momentum right here. If you get a signal line that stays above, 
stays above this called extreme momentum trade it's the best signal you're going to get in the room if it stays above 80 on both the smaller signal line and the larger signal line together that's what I call a peg market look for an extreme blow-off rally as the market retraces one one Renko two Renko doji comes in that doji comes in as long as that signal line is still holding when that audible alert comes in on your speakers and this arrow shows a buy signal that is a buy signal now your stops after entry is two ticks below the swing low on these Rinkos and traders can trail with chart trader or two Rinko bars back and just trail your position three four bars back five bars back as you get longer into the trade so that's the next qualified signal market moves up now we're cranking up crank up crank up we got speed bars indicating strength strength market shows the first red on Bitcoin shows the first red Rinko got to stay above 40 for bull retracement as we're moving you can see that I've got a red Rinko red Rinko red Rinko red Rinko as we retrace retrace stay on the side of the color of the zone it's green we're buying stay above the shallow zone of retracement are we above the shallow zone yes we are watch double signal line for strength or weakness pull in the market see if we have strength is the signal line above as we're retracing when the doji comes in signal lines above 40 check signal line is right at 40 check right on it at 40 arrow fires in audible alert Bitcoin explodes it's just happened on Bitcoin all right so you can use that you can use the shallow zones to your benefit for strength and weakness you can use a double oscillator to help you understand when the best trades are and when there's qualified or non-qualified trades let's go to the next one if I come up to here I hit my order block order blocks are major resistance we start getting reversal we stayed above the shallow check on the retracement right stay on the side of the color we're trying to buy stay above the shallow check do we have a double signal line confirmation no why my bull retracement says I must stay above 40 if you want to cherry pick these trades if you just want to wait to stay on the side of shallow and look for these these are your be your most accurate trades during the week If you want to trade these, these are the most accurate trades in the week. It's a deeper retrace on the, sh on the shorter signal line. But these are more dangerous trades. These are the trades I like to avoid. This worked out, which is fine. Longer signal line stayed above 40. Shorter signal line dipped below 40. This tells me that strength is dissipating. If strength is dissipating, we are slowing down in the market, then what we're doing is we're creating we're creating a situation where you have a possible stop out. All right, we want to try to avoid those as much as possible. Now what I have is I have over a hundred and some odd page Gosh, it's going to be around around 130 charts now, I believe it is, on a PDF that I have written. So when we do get this update out to you, 
it's going to explain all these charts in detail signals like this it's actually going to show you secondly this I'm going to actually uh, give you a base point to start with I'll give you a base point to start with on what to put in on your levels this is the algorithm right so if I look at the algo of the last month now obviously past results are not indicative of future results but what this tells me is my shallow retracement oscillator pulling in is a very very high probability trade it's been over 93 percent over the last month using this is the 140 40 a longer Rinko, but what this tells us is it tells us now obviously like I said past performance is not indicative of future results we all know that that's why we sign risk disclaimers but what it tells us is that we are looking at the right method or the right approach in the market to look for momentum all right this is the big contract on the S&P but what I'll do in the PDF also I'll give you starting points in fact I'll give you these exact numbers that I have on this chart in the PDF so you have a good starting point to back test or forward test what have you you'll get these exact numbers in the PDF this is the performance of the last month on the S&P so yesterday on the S&P it got short shallow retracement weakness it got short here because it was weak my oscillator was below 65 which is bare so go over that tonight it was below my shallow it started running but then I got I had a break even plus one on it and then it ran out of time it exited the close here it was short and then took a small loss at the close day before that break even plus one break even plus one and then it got a doozy of a trade here 68 and a half all the way into the close of 97 almost a just under a 30 point trade so why look at my oscillator this just goes to show you that when you go with the shallow zones with the oscillator even the double oscillator is even better you can qualify these trades Gerald good shut that off shut that off Gerald please thanks man so we're going to go over this in detail tonight in the conference call and I'll go over in detail for you guys make sure we're on the same page make sure you understand but We'll look at a lot of different markets. Listen, you don't have to look at the S&P 500. I'll show you the NASDAQ futures. This is Bitcoin. I'll show you crypto. I'll show you any type of market that's a tradable market as long as you abide by the rules.